What the heck is all of this stuff? I'll tell you guys, I'm doing my seat springs, putting my seat tracks back on, and this is way harder than it should have been. I did not take good notes when I started. I had some video, but you've seen the disassembly was kind of grainy. So I'm having some problems figuring out where these all hook back in. So I watched several different videos, looked at pictures, made my stupid diagrams, and now hopefully I'm gonna make it easier for you guys and give you some detailed shots. Another thing it took me a minute to figure out is the driver side is different from the passenger side. So this is the driver side. You're looking at the front of the seat here. Of course, you know how to bolt these back on. The inside track is the one that's recessed into the seat and the bolt hole goes to the back bolt on the Firebird. I'm assuming Camaro as well. And then the inside track of the driver's seat is the one that's got the handle on it. So what I've found is that you put these on, set them at their, you know, the bolt hole on the back is at the rearmost location, all right? So then you put this tension spring on, which out of the three springs that you have is gonna be this one. Um, you know, this one seems to be the most stout spring as far as tension goes, but you're gonna hook that to this, and then it hooks to this groove on the back of the stationary part of the track, okay? So that's that one. The next one is the spring that mounts the, the uh, tension for the forward and backward. So you know how when you slide forward and backward, it's kind of springy, that's this one. So that is gonna be the longest spring out of the three. And there's a long end and a short end. Put the short end on the driver's side, it goes into the hole in the track. It's gonna be different on the passenger side. Hole in the track itself, and then to the back of the stationary part of the track, hook it just into the edge there, right by where your bracket is. So again, this is the piece that slides forward and backward. So just hook that to the stationary part. Okay, so then the last spring medeal here is going to hook inside of this clip, okay? This spring here, this is the smallest of the three, but it's the one that keeps the tension on this track release in place. So here it is unhooked. And basically where it needs to go is up inside of here. You can see, I'll put my finger behind it to cover the hole. That hole is right there, all right? So we need to get this up in here and hook it in. All right, let me see if I can show you from the back side where that needs to be. Yep, a lot easier. You can see the hole right there. Okay, so this one here just comes forward and it hooks right, right there. Okay, the last of these is your wire connector and it's gonna hook from this spot right here Okay, and it's gonna come down to this hole right here. And then how these work is there's just a little spring medeal that pinches together and slides up and over. Just like that. So driver side, spring, middle size goes to the hole in this clip up to the front of the track. The big heavy spring goes from the hole to the back of the frame of the track. Your wire connector from this outside most hole to the hole forward on the handle. And then that spring there, which is your most stout spring, goes from the handle to the back of the track. Okay, so there's your operation. Release on that track lever. And there's your operation on that one and it should snap back into place. All right, now that we got the driver's seat all put back together, we figured out which side the tracks are supposed to go on, figured out how the springs work. 
I really want to dive into this passenger side with you guys too and show you how all this hooks up because like I said before, the driver's seat is different from the passenger seat. So let's go through that and then you guys will know the difference here. Here's your heavy duty middle size spring. It's going to go from the back of this adjuster bracket to the back groove of the static part of the track. And then your heaviest spring, your biggest spring, connects to this bracket. But it goes from there to the back of this little V-groove. So then um, you've got your spring on the actuator here, which this is your lighter spring. The lightest one, it goes from that hole here to the V-groove in the back. And then, of course, your connecting wire goes from the hole forward on the handle to that rear hole on the bracket so that's how it's going spring robins are out and you can hear them they're laughing at me because it's taken me all evening to get these tracks figured out but we got it now we're just going to get these installed and rock and roll so actually i'm kind of glad i had trouble with the tracks because i was doing some internet research and i came across these parts and i had these in my box of random stuff that was given to me when I bought the car, and I didn't know what they were. He actually gave me some parts that were for, like, a Le Mans and stuff, so I didn't know. But when I was doing the research, I found that these actually go from bolt to bolt on your seat here, and they are basically a trim for under your seat. So we'll get that all installed, and I'll show you how that looks installed. But, yeah, I thought that was pretty neat. I actually figured out... A solution to a problem I didn't know I had by having a problem that drove me nuts. So I guess it all works out, right? All right, let me show you what I'm doing here. So I just have the seat set in here, but before I set it in, I marked with tape where my holes were, and then I've got my pick, and I'm just kind of gently feeling around where I had the tape until I find the hole. And then it goes through, okay? Now I know you can poke these from up underneath is another way to do it. But there's a billion ways. This is just what I'm doing. But once I've got that pick installed with a hole, I'm going to remove it. We'll get that end heated up a little bit. And I can come in here and very gently go back down into my hole. And it kind of cauterizes the carpet phrase there. So that the hole doesn't close back up. Keeps it from fraying. So I'm going to go around and do that on our, all four holes. And then we can get those bolts in. Dang, that really changes things a lot, having seats in there. Yep, but there's that trim piece. Just kind of lays in, covers your foot pads there. So yeah, pretty good. I still need to order my seat belt strap holders up top there. But uh, it's looking pretty good. I think I'm just going to sit in it this evening for a little while, have a beer and listen to some tunes. What do you think? So guys, I'm super excited to have seats in the car. It really brings together the interior. Still got a few little things to do. Sill plates, kick panels, but that's okay. It's looking really good. You're going to want to stick around and check out the future videos. There's a lot more to come on this car. Hit the subscribe button. Boom. We're getting into the grill. We're getting into the brake lights. You know, we're putting glass in this thing. I'm going to show you how to put a formula steering wheel together from scratch. It's going to be great. So thanks for checking me out on this channel. Hit the subscribe button and catch me next time.